When you're talking about vectors, one particular type of vector that's especially important that we see in a lot of different applications and whatnot is something called a unit vector. And basically a unit vector is simply a vector that has a length of one. That's its only criteria. It can point in any direction, but its magnitude has to be the number one. And so there's, there's a nice way to think about unit vectors. Uh, think in terms of the unit circle. You'll remember that from your trig class. The unit circle is a circle with radius one. So really a unit vector is any vector that has this terminal point when you write it in component form being on the unit circle. Because any point that you would pick, let's say you pick a point out here uh, on the unit circle, that point right there, if that's the terminal point for your vector in component form, then by default, the length of that vector would be one since it's on you know the unit circle. So oftentimes we'll write unit vectors with the notation vector u. Now that's not 100% of the time. If you see a vector u that's not a unit vector, it's not the end of the world, but oftentimes if we have a unit vector, many times we'll write it with the letter u, u being for unit vector. So an example of a unit vector might be like root two over two, comma root two over two. I know that's a unit vector because it's that, that terminal point's on the unit circle. Um, if you ever have a weird vector and you're not really sure if it's a unit vector, no big deal. Just take its magnitude, which we talked about how to do in a previous video, and you should get the number one. If you don't get the number one, then it's simply not a unit vector. All right, now in the next video, what we're gonna talk about is how you can take a vector that's not a unit vector, maybe it's either too long or too short, and we'll talk about how to scale that vector to where it will become a unit vector um, once you scale it appropriately.